It's real quiet. Are you good, nigga? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't just drink some water. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nigga, your microphone was perfect. I heard, I heard, I heard every ounce go down your throat. Pause. <laughs> nigga, shit. Pause. <laughs> My headphones are. Okay. You good? This one's not working. Oh. Testing, testing. Nothing. Anything. Can you hear me now? Yeah, okay. All right. There we go. I'm like, what the fuck? That might be the headphone, goddammit. <laughs> That's funny. I heard every ounce of this motherfucker. Oh, man. For the boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Did you think I gotta think I for Fridays? It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I mean, Monday's cool. Thank God it's Friday. And Tuesday, we we'll make it through. Couple tacos. Wednesday is a hot day. And Thursdays, we're almost there. Thank God it's Friday. We all love the weekend, but uh, we can't make it without Friday. Mic check, mic check, one, two. What is this? Bitchin' by the barn, we back in business. We back in business, baby. I am your host with the most, the blessed and highly favorite Franco the pen. Here with my usual co-host, we got Mark D on the ones and twos. Yes, sir. Shout out to the first and last time listeners. Shout out to everybody who is spending your pre drinks with us. We truly appreciate it. We back, baby. We back. It has been two whole weeks. Two whole weeks. Now, uh, that's that's Marcus fault. No, I gave nah. I gave him the option nah. of coming on uh, coming up on here and releasing something. I didn't give a damn what it was. Look, and he and he, and he, he was busy. I was out of the country, so that was if I, I would have I a. If I was somewhere with decent American life, <laughs> I would have did it. Look, but I was I was indisposed. Marquis was I was also indisposed. This nigga's lying his ass up. I I'm not. <laughs> I was I was busy as well. Um I was busy this time last year. Remember? I was in Tennessee and Florida this time last year. You ain't had no weddings this year. Which was it wasn't that even a wedding year. that time. That was it was birthday party. Wow. Are you all right over there? Is it sticky? <laughs> yeah, that is your hand. <laughs> Something keep transferring back and forth between my hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would offer you a little bit of this water, but uh, Hell no. yeah. First of all, that water looks uh, immaculate. Like it cost seven dollars a bottle. It, I, it was. It felt like it. It was straight from the the uh, Niagara Falls. No, this is Hawaiian volcanic water. So straight from that old couple's tub <laughs> is what you said, man. Hawaiian volcanic water. What the yes. fuck does that even mean? It, um. It's, it's made from the storm cloud that was made after the it's after deep it well water. I don't know what it means. Uh, volcanic water originates in Hawaii. It's called it's Wakanda. Both, it's called Wakanda, yeah. It's both snow melt and rain on the pristine summit of an active Moana Lao volcano, one of the purest environments on Earth, according to the back of the bottle. <laughs> okay, so that shit was made by. Some old couple, some old couple, and they took that fills these fuckers up. <laughs> it ships them out. Filtered through porous volcanic rock, naturally oh, alkaline. Hawaii. Naturally alkaline. And Is that even the thing? Electrolytes and minerals. Oxidation reduction potential of sixty three point four BPA Lies. and PFAS free. Lies. I can tell. I don't know. I mean, it's good water. 
It's, it's good water. I tell you whatever I want to as long as you buy this bitch. Mm -hmm. How about that? <laughs> this shit was this this bottle was filled by uh Egyptian monks. <laughs> I'm mad because <laughs> I was just thinking about uh Okay. Uh David Allen Greer had this show. It was only for like uh six or seven episodes on Comedy Central. It was called Chocolate News. Where he did like skits and shit. Uh -huh. and, uh, he played this uh, black hustler and shit who was selling African spring water. <laughs> so ba <laughs> basically, this nigga was selling like the most delicious, like some good ass water uh -huh. from a, a village in Africa that had no water. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> basically, <laughs> he was. Collecting the water that this small village had <laughs> and selling it back to America. <laughs> and the people who made the, the people who like made the water or found it or whatever in Africa was making like two cents a day. <laughs> not, <laughs> not even enough. <laughs> but <laughs> the fucked up part is he was doing, he was doing a sit down interview with some motherfucker from <laughs> America and he, he turned on this, this, this tap that was <laughs> and poured him a cup of water. He was like, the dude was like, this is the best cup of water I've ever had. And some little African boy came along with a cup and tried to get some too. <laughs> but I tell you, <laughs> nigga, he <laughs> just the visual of him knocking the cup, <laughs> he knocked the cup off the boy's head, <laughs> taking out his face, take the contact. <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's all bad. I was like, fuck. That's all bad. I'm like, I shouldn't be laughing at this. This shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> dude, oh, my God, dude. He, he said the most ruthless line, but I could see, like, a white, like, evil business owner mm -hmm. saying this shit. Oh, God. He, he was like, the, the person interviewing him was like, what do you say to critics who say that uh, you're sending all the African water back to America and the people of Africa have no water? And then he was like, well, if the people of Africa didn't have no water, they wouldn't have water for tears. And I was like, oh my God. Jeez. I was like, Bruh. Oh my God. That's so fucking reckless. Oh. That's mad reckless. That's hell. That shit was hella funny though. Oh my God. You can't even find that shit. I, I, I downloaded all six or seven episodes like years ago. Mm -hmm. Kept them bitches on the, on the, on the, on the uh, Memory card. Okay. It just it just is my safe of memory cards and shit. <laughs> now it's on the uh, now it's on my um tablet. Oh man, you can't even find them bitches no more. Yeah, they they they, they legit be like hiding, stifling episodes of certain stuff. Like you can't find every episode of remember Guy Code. Yeah, it's certain episodes that they won't air that you can't. You, you know what? You know where it is. Where, where is it? And so um. What's the, what's the app that runs shit like TV? I think it's Pluto TV. Oh. It's either Pluto or now Tubi do that shit too. Oh. But you know when they give like certain motherfuckers like their own channel and shit yeah. just run their shit 24-7? Uh -huh. I saw that shit. It was like uh, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, Geico? It was just like episodes back to back and shit. Oh. They started to sell their old, they started to sell their old shit yeah. to uh, the motherfuckers who run their shit like TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> but like, nigga... I wonder could I get up. I, I sometimes want. I'm happy I'm in a relationship. Let's start right. Let's start right there. <laughs> but I'm all like, if I was single, could I get off with just inviting a chick over, and like, we just sit down and watch like some Pluto TV, or some some shit that's free, some Pluto to be crackle. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so two things. It depends on the chick, right? And it depend. You gotta have something. There's gotta be something fire. It's got to be something that's going to hold your interest. You gotta, for I'm about to say, crack, if you, if you look, if you look like fine, fine enough, like they got some shit, I could put you on some shit, especially on Tubi. If you look through all the outrageously just terrible shit, you find, you find a couple of gems and shit. It's a couple. And you know, it's so bad. Like Tubi, it's not even like, I, okay, some of that shit is outrageously bad, <laughs> but some of it is just, it's just like a B movie. Yeah. It's just, it's just. They didn't have a production value behind it, like. And then you, the, the story, some of the storylines be kind of legit. 
that's just like I don't want to what the call it this cinema where uh just local cinema or some shit, but some but some remember like like remember when stuff used to go straight to VHS yeah <laughs> yeah shit like that yeah. <laughs> yeah but I look up on there and I see like movies that was like lit. I'm like nigga, you on Tubi for what, nigga? That that shit was good. Yeah. Like, oh man. You be looking at me like, nigga, you better you better check out what Tubi, Tubi got some shit. And it, some stuff is just on Tubi because it's old. Yeah. Like, um, Friday. Friday's on Tubi. I'm pretty sure it was on Tubi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Tubi. I saw it on. I saw a movie like I was surprised it was on Tubi, but I was like, I was kind of not because it was it was kind of hit and miss, but uh. The Rock had a movie called San Andreas. Oh yeah, with the uh, with the earthquakes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that was it was that decent. was good. Mm-hmm. It had a lot of unbelievable action mm-hmm. scenes. I see. I, I see you, why you, you want to be. How you jump from this building to that helicopter, bro? <laughs> what? Did he That's... jump from the building onto the helicopter? Nigga, first of all, it was like twenty feet. <laughs> any, any anybody from the Fast and Furious franchise ah. can do whatever the fuck they want to do. <laughs> Like, we we throw these cars in space, bro. <laughs> Nigga, in the last in the last Fast and Furious, Vin Diesel picked up a car with one arm <laughs> while simultaneously shooting at the bad guys. That family can do whatever the fuck they want to hear. Family. I keep telling dude, you know, I keep telling you, nigga. If uh Corey said it was Booty Rock's worst movie. Wow. <laughs> nigga, I'm like, nigga. I'm telling you, if in, in the in the in the last movie, if uh, if like Captain America just showed up, I wouldn't even I wouldn't bat an eye. Like, the, okay, Chris Hemsworth, he's part the, of the family. In the right. last, you said nigga, I said Captain America. You said Chris Hemsworth. That ain't his name. That is Thor. That is oh. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> that, I guess I gotta get out the house the, and get on the nigga, internet. The, 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 the nerd in me want to clown you so I, bad right I, now. I, uh, I you think you thinking of Chris Evans? Yes, I do. See, okay, they just got the same first name. You think Chris? Still blast me. <laughs> you thinking of Chris Evans? Second of second of all, I think it died. Yeah, I know. Not died, but, but he he yeah, old now. Yeah, and I was talking about. Uh, the new Captain America, nigga. Oh, which it. is now Falcon. Yeah, it used to be Falcon. Yeah, I know his name, <laughs> Mackie. <laughs> he got a first name, nigga. He got a first name in there. Don't worry about it. He got a first name. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you went straight for the motherfucking you know, Mackie. Okay, yeah. he got a first name yeah. in there. It's a first name somewhere in there. It's, it's starts right. with a letter. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you skim on that because you yeah. clearly struggled. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, shit! Oh, All right, my gut says Alex. No, <laughs> Alex. Is that even a black man? Uh, <laughs> nigga. nigga Anthony Mack. I see. I had the right letter. <laughs> you just gonna work your way through the A's until yeah. you got to it. <laughs> that was the plan. Wow. Oh man! All right, first let me get my sad news about the way. Yeah. Uh, our, if, this is only for the wrestling fans. If you're not a wrestling fan, then fuck you. Uh, R.I.P. to Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt. Uh, Terry Funk, we kind of saw in the wrestling community. We kind of saw coming. He was spending his. He was. Uh, he was already like in the nursing home. Dude mm-hmm. was like, uh, I think he was like. They said he was like seventy something. Uh-huh. Um, Bray Wyatt, real name is uh, Wyndham Rotunda. Yeah, caught all of us out of nowhere. Yeah, because he had just he had just came back from wrestling after having a uh, dispute with WWE over uh, creative differences. He came back, was doing big things, and then uh, suddenly, right before WrestleMania, which is like the Super Bowl, uh-huh. uh. Two nights where they get paid the most money and shit. He was pulled from TV, and they said he had like uh, they said it was for uh, unknown illness. Uh, uh, Triple H came on uh, Twitter and said that uh, 
he got a phone call from uh he got a phone call from his dad saying that uh, he had passed away and the whole fucking wrestling universe is just just mm-hmm. shattered like we thought they said usually when they be like motherfucker at home sick you know, like nigga you in trouble for either you in trouble for something or you just or you hurt yeah turn, turn they uh apparently uh he had caught covid this is this is the report they put out. Apparently, mm-hmm. he, he caught COVID, which uh, triggered an unknown heart condition, mm-hmm. which caused him to have a heart attack and die. To which I was like, "Fucking dirty COVID, bitch! Fuck!" Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. And he was young too. He was thirty six. Thirty six. And I'm like, like, no, man, this nigga is this nigga is a year older than me. Like, come on, man, what the fuck. He wasn't nowhere near done. He had yeah. just he had just finished the movie and shit. Was had hella creative when he when he came back. Dog, New Year, oh, I'm all like, man, fuck. Left behind beautiful wife, some uh, some uh, some kids. Oh man, I was like, damn, that shit hurt. And then uh, they did a tribute show to him uh, a couple hours. Well, it just went off, but I'm sitting there like, man. Y'all, you almost got me, motherfucker. I, I was, I was this close to just shed the thug tear. Like, man, come <laughs> on, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I was that a tear guy. Fight his way out the eye. Sort of guy. I was a, I was a huge fan of, of Bray Wyatt. That shit, hurt, that shit hurt me to the. I'm like, nigga, what? It hurt, it hurt bad because he was part of the, uh, was part of this group called the Wyatt family, which is four deep, and like two to three years ago, a member. Of, of that of that group died. Uh and now break and now break on and this is like uh, it's like Yeah. R.I.P. to Bray Wyatt. Gone too soon. Super creative. The whole wrestling world is sad. It took over the internet. I'm surprised you even got in your topics today nigga. You don't even watch wrestling. I don't even know why you <laughs> But see I know you <laughs> <laughs> and I knew you was gonna want to talk about it. I was just like, oh man, super fucking sad. R.I.P. to Bray Wyatt, though. Absolutely. And shout out to W WWE are always they're not evil all the time. Mm-hmm. They uh Bray Wyatt is one of the uh top merch sellers. Mm-hmm. So all the all the uh all the proceeds uh from his merch sales going straight to his family and shit. Yeah, Wish they so, should. Yeah. Uh, but you know companies be taking a piece, but he did. So if they're not taking a piece. Here, have all this money, cause you know, and, uh, so you already know, all the fans is running up the bills. Give me everything, Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Did. So that's gonna be a nice, a nice little chunk of change for the family. Help Absolutely. them get, help them get through the rest of the. Uh, get get through this trying time without struggling and shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get off that gloomy shit. Coming back from vacation. Yes, sir. Talked a little bit about it on PSA. Uh, I wanted to bring... I wanted to talk about something on this podcast specifically. Mm-hmm. Went on the cruise. Wonderful cruise. Longest cruise I've ever been on. Nine days. Whoa. Uh, Funny. I just, I just love cruising and shit. I wasn't even, nigga, I was gone for two weeks. Wasn't even ready to come back. Mad I had to. Mm, hey, I feel it. The goddamn yeah. life waiting for me. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I made, I made a, uh, I made a TikTok about it, but this is our crew. This is our vacation. Mm-hmm. Cruise. Relaxing. Our time away from the kids and responsibility. Just fun and whatever else you want to do. Yeah. So we did some fucking. Mm. Oh, of course. Of course, of course. right? Yeah. Because it's vacation. It's vacation. Pay all this fucking cruise money. We going to do some fucking on here. Thank God. Okay? Absolutely. Sorry to y'all who go on vacation and your girl been up here. Hopefully she ain't selfish and she, and she said it. But we did some, we did some fuck. So I think like Either the first or second night we we, we uh went, got a good session in, no problem, mm-hmm. great session, right? For sure. 
So we had uh she had book every every crew she always book us like some fancy dinner and shit. Where we uh get dressed up and we go to the dinner, then we go do some more romantic shit. This night, I don't know what it was, but we was we was just we was freaky out in the open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We no. uh, we got dressed up, we went to dinner, dinner was good. We at the, uh, this place called the Bliss Lounge. And we what we, what cruise line? Uh, Norwegian. Okay, okay. We uh we at the, we at the Bliss Lounge. Uh, Bliss Lounge got couches around, and then there's like chairs in the middle stage right here with motherfuckers performing and shit. I'm talking about nigga. We just it's just shit happening. We don't even we just so fucking into each other. Nigga, I'm a, I'm nigga. We just I'm all up for I'm all up that dress. Nice. Just kissing on her and shit. We sitting there making out and shit. It's all it's. Cruise ship full of <laughs> nigga. We was nigga. We was by our damn. Self. Y'all was y'all was that couple. Yeah, we was that much. <laughs> then we went, uh we went poolside, got some drinks at the bar. Was why they was having some type of concert up there. They was uh doing this long ass hula line around the pool and shit. Mm-hmm. We was up there just killing. We was that couple by the poolside. I think I'm all like nigga. You I don't know what it is. You just sexy as fuck right now. <laughs> I'm all like nigga. We just we just that couple like. That's just, dope. Just sitting there, just freaky ass. I'm glad there wasn't no kids around because we would have been a red dot on that shit. Ah. <laughs> he said we we had to come home and and, and register. Right. So nigga, we uh, was it a Delta only cruise or no? It's it's a family cruise. Okay, but uh, so I'm all like, fuck this. We I'm all like, you ready to go back to the room? She ready to go. We come back to the room. Um. Instantly, take all this shit off, naked, nigga. Of course, uh, that's you. Yeah, it is. Um, I go in with the, uh, I go in with the oral skills, but of course, I brought my back up with me, cause <laughs> nigga, the fuck, it's the crew, so I'm about, I'm about to cut up in this bitch. She already know what's up. I'm about to do a backflip, nigga. I come, I come in with the mouth. I got, I got this, uh. Got a wand. Okay. You know what that okay. Is, right? No. Wow. <laughs> it's like it's like that big vibrator you, you see in porn and shit, like, like a microphone. Okay. That big okay. Mu- big motherfucking shit, but it's kind of like it's a medium, it's a travel size one. Okay. Where it don't look obnoxious when you pull it th- when you run it through. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, mm. right. <laughs> I got that, and I got uh, I got like this one toy. That it it, uh, it goes in, but it it hooks around, and it got a part that you put on the clip. Okay. So this part vibrate, and this part, the the top part suck on the clip while you when you put the bottom part in the girl and shit. Okay. 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 It's kind of, I'm yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Kind of like yep, yep. So I got I got those two, working in conjunction with the mouth. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, it's, it's, it's mouth mouth <laughs> surgery down there. <laughs> he so said, he said I had so, a whole orchestra going. Right. We on vacation, nigga. Uh huh. We can't, we can't, I can't do everything I want to do at home yeah. because I got a house full of fucking kids. And yeah. as you can see today, kids is not my fucking kids. <laughs> so we got to have that quiet yeah. TV up sex. <laughs> nigga, we on vacation. Nigga, ain't no, ain't, nigga, I ain't, nigga, ain't no don't, don't, turn, don't turn, on, turn on music on. I don't want to hear no TV. I want to hear you moaning. And that's what the fuck I got, nigga. Uh-huh. When I tell you, nigga, sh- nigga, she was screaming. <laughs> Screaming to the point, and it, it happened so perfectly. She had just got finished coming. Uh huh. To the point where, to the point she, nigga, she kind of shake, she, she shaking on the bed. She kind of out of breath. I'm like, I'm gonna give you a break. I go to stand up. I go to take my, I go to take my boxers off. But nigga, it's time to do some, some time to do some more fuck. <laughs> like, time to do some more fuck. Hey, you know I brought this too, right? <laughs> <laughs> time, time to do some more fucking nigga. I, uh. I go to I go to take my boxes off and shit. Fucking phone ring. Mm. I pick it up. So, uh, son, we uh, just wanted to let you know we got a, uh, a noise complaint coming from your. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was, I was, just, I was just like, yeah. I, I was like, yeah. I figured. All right. Thank you. And I, and I just hung up and I was like, all right. 
I just, I just like, we just gonna stop right here. Somebody was jealous. We just gonna stop right here. Somebody was jealous. Got to be. Somebody was in there hating. It was somebody sitting on the bed. They man was asleep, and she was like, "They having a good time." You know what it was? <laughs> I, I, think, I figured out the, the crew was the people. We thought it was the people on, on this on this side of us. Mm-hmm. But I'm all like, it, once I figured out who they was, and I saw them throughout the trip, I'm like, it, it can't be them. And she thought she thought it was them because she she thought that they had like kids and shit like that. I'm oh, like, I'm like, think about that. It could have been somebody, like, a bunch of kids. Man. I'm like, nigga. Once I saw them, I'm like, it can't be them. It's this couple that's been fucking crazy throughout the whole throughout the. Whole, I'm talking about dancing, grabbing the mic, singing at karaoke multiple times, loud as fuck, drunk. Uh-huh. I ain't seen them with kids throughout this trip at all. Uh-huh. I'm all like, it can't be them. They been just as crazy as. This. <laughs> 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 when on the other side. Elder, elder, elderly couple. Ah, I'm all like, you motherfucking you. Yeah, <laughs> like what? I knew. I knew, why you hating Barbara Jean? I knew it had to be done because the day the day before this happened, we got a I got a letter. We got a letter, a handwritten uh, note, uh, left on our door, mm-hmm. talking about uh, we can hear, we we can hear your TV. It was talking about ah. our TV, but. Uh, we unplugged the TV like the day after we got there because we uh-huh. we needed more Plugs. outlets yeah. for the, for the chargers and shit. But I've been running my uh, I was running my tablet. I'm all like, nigga, you can play over the over a tablet, money. This ain't even loud. Exactly. But I'm all like, whatever. I nigga, I didn't turn my ta- I didn't turn my tablet off. Yeah. But I'm all like, how thin are these walls? I don't give a nigga. I don't give a fuck out there. I'm all like, nigga, you pay all. Maybe it's different for, for 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 elder people. Maybe because I was hopefully not when I get there. I was <laughs> I, I was on the road where I, you saw motherfuckers be like motherfuckers come on cruises and like order a uh, room service like they barely like leave their room. Yeah, I'd be like, why did you pay all this money just to stay in your room? Yeah, and be yeah. cooped and be cooped up and be quiet. I think if we. Paid this money, nigga. I want to be loud. I want to be rambunctious. I want to enjoy all this shit. To come back to my room and do some fucking. <laughs> the fuck? I ain't come here to have no quiet sense. I have, I can have quiet sense at the crib for free. <laughs> the fuck? I came here to do some fucking, and that's what I'm doing. Nigga. I'm up, nigga. Next two nights, fucking. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about like, nigga. If that phone ring is just ringing. They gonna have to come and knock. They gonna have to come and knock on my door. I'm a plug it. <laughs> <laughs> this shit about to get belligerent. I gave belligerent. I gave you a pass. I gave you a pass that night, nigga. even though I ain't even get my nuts. She got all the nuts. Went straight to sleep, nigga. I ain't even get mine. I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this L. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say this for later. Take this L and, and be quiet for my neighbors and shit. I, then I, we was talking about it for for the next couple of days. Like, nigga, nah. fuck these neighbors. I don't even <laughs> know these niggas. I probably ain't gonna never see y'all again the rest, for the rest of my life, nigga. You about to hear some fucking. And if you, and if you mad, bitch, get like me. He said, I bet the neighbors know my name. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's what this girl said on TikTok. That's what was funny. I was like, I'm all like, am I the bad? I'm like, I can't be the bad guy. Nah. I, nigga, I pay, Enjoy nigga, your vacation. Cruises, cruises, cause way, even, cruises cause way too much money for you to be sitting here having some quiet ass sex. Mm-hmm. Like, if you, nigga, you, you lucky I went to bed as early as I did, bro. <laughs> Facts. Oh man, that's oh, cruise was great. Um, I swam with jellyfishes and stingrays. Did you which, punch one? Which was terrifying. I punched a couple. Yeah, yeah. we all did. Shout apparently, out, shout out to Steve. Apparently, uh, nor apparently Norwegian uh owns an island, okay, or a portion of an island. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of times they they do. And, um, we was in the Bahamas, and I have never been to this island because. Uh, apparently, it's this part. It's, it's on, like the cruise ship. It's, it's on, on, where yeah, they, yeah, where they dock at. Uh, they don't even. We didn't even dock. Uh, we dropped anchor, and a boat came to our shit gotcha. and took us yeah. to the, and took us yeah. to, to the island and shit. Not even the good part of the island. <laughs> I was so pissed because yeah. uh, I didn't I didn't see it until we uh, we was there all day. Then we had, uh, went back to the boat. When we went back to the boat. We was going back to the boat. I'm all like, nigga, it was another cruise ship. At the island too and shit, mm. but they part of the island had it had like a water slide and all that. Stuff. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> Our shit just had it had like it had it had like beach bars mm-hmm. and a nice beach and uh, 
zip line and this shit. I'm like, nigga, it's a whole fucking theme park over there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we got fucking... How we on this side? <laughs> we on the poor people's side. Was it uh, was it like all inclusive, or like, did you still have to do your meals and your drinks separate? How how was that set up? What the the boat? The, yeah, yeah, on the cruise. It's all included. Uh, it all it all depends on what you pay for. Like if you pay for if when you set up your food, mm-hmm. you pay for the nigga. I want everything. Yeah, she she got the drink package. I got the uh, bottomless soda package because I don't be drinking like that. Uh, all the meals included. Even even for like, because some some if some restaurants if you don't do like the all inclusive shit, then you gotta pay for it. Gotcha. But if you do all the inclusive shit, then even after like the fancy, the fancy restaurants and shit, mm-hmm. that shit is all included, in, included in the package and shit. Yeah, uh, all inclusive is the way. It was. Like at our at our resort, it was all inclusive. And I mean, just being able to like wake up and just order anything. <laughs> yeah, that's, you got to. That's, that's the way the to go. Shit. That's what I be looking for. Yeah, you once you, I I I, uh, I had to. Uh, you got to get over the. Uh, you got to get over the notion that because you think. For some reason, in my mind, all ships is built the same, and that's not true at all. Because mm-hmm. Carnival, Carnival, whatever that was, wasn't like the first Norwegian I went to. The, the first Norwegian wasn't like the second Norwegian I got upon. Mm-hmm. And I was I was fully expecting those two ships. I'm like, they're both Norwegian. They'd be the same. They wasn't. <laughs> Room was way smaller Dang. than the other Norwegian that I'd been on. Mm-hmm. The uh, eating situation wasn't set up the same. Like the ship wasn't the same. But I'm all like. Okay, so let me just get this. Let me just stop expecting shit when I go on the new shit. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but uh, it was it was so fucking fun. <sighs> always they gave you a paper, but it's always like some shit to do. I went the, I was way more active than I have been in a long time. So. <laughs> that's dope though. I still got. I gotta get on me a cruise, man. I don't know why you nigga you y'all sit there and, and swim in Florida's nasty ass water. Go get you some 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 real ocean water mm-hmm. across the sea where they actually care about this. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I was just in uh, the Dominican. Nigga, I don't know. That was nice. I don't know where it was a stop. I don't know what it's called. I'm about to ask my girl, but we just went there because she she wanted she Vietnamese wanted to swim in the ocean. Mm-hmm. So we we got that out the way. Of course, fun because anything that make you two hundred pounds lighter is dope. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, we got out. Uh, got food there because of course you want authentic everything and shit. Mm-hmm. We went to this store, fresh every fucking thing, just oh, freshness, just beautiful. But coup de gras. Um, how much is this in the store? Um, I can't remember. I think it's like, I think it's like thirty-five, forty. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, go with that. Shit. Cause nigga, we went, we went into this whole, we went into this door. Fucking uh, a bottle, of, a butter, what? It's mm, what a fifth. That's a fifth. Fifty, forty nine, forty nine, ninety nine. Yeah. The price is over, nigga. If I this out when I saw these prices, I wanted to have the ability to teleport, <laughs> nigga. White Hennessy mm-hmm. was twenty dollars. What? Wow. I paid $15 for that. Really? Man, see, when I was in the Dominican, like, some places were trying to tax for the white Hennessy because they know a lot of people buy it. Yeah, this place, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, at one of those stops. Or, mm-hmm. This is, like, part of the, part of the town. Yeah. And I, I went up, nigga, the, they were selling this shit like it was bottom shelf. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nigga. But they, they don't, apparently they, they don't be playing about the uh they classy azul. Oh yeah, the classy azul. Because the brown the, the darker that shit get, the more the price goes up. Oh yeah. oh yeah. It was like you can you can get this light shit for like 
fifty bucks. But that that brown chip, that is thirty five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn. You don't remember what country it was? It was it was Saint something. It wasn't Saint Kitts and Nevis? Huh? Saint Kitts? No. Jesus. Um, Whatever you just said sounded Greek. No. <laughs> Saint Kitts and Nevis, that's in the um I'm at that. I'm at I'm at that as my girl. It was was it uh Saint Lucia? No. In Grenada? These are all that that was a city in a country. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you have it. That was it. <laughs> I was just like oh. Saint Maritan. No, Nate. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, that's that's just what. Oh, is it? I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, M A R T A A N. So, um, uh, it was just like fucking. Oh, Saint Saint Martin. That's not right. Huh? But okay, Maritan, Maritan, I don't know. Okay. Maritan. He- Bitch, you like just that. you said it wrong. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you probably are too. <laughs> Same. I forgot the eye. Whatever. Okay. The point is. Okay. Martin I was wrong. Was yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> 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 but uh, super, super cheap alcohol. That's what's up. And their fruit so. looked delicious. And their food was dope. The only problem I be having with like super fresh fruit is it's so warm. So what? Warm. Oh no, this is this was in like uh the coolers you have at the store. Okay. 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 See I that'll make not a big the, not none of that shit they sell them like in a in a cart next to the yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean like it tastes fresh, but I'm like, it's hot. <laughs> I can't get with this. <laughs> I think it's hundred and seven degrees I know, right? Like I didn't have my share of fresh fruit without we even down to the Dominican and I'm like, man, it's it's tasty, but why I gotta be so hot? <laughs> I've just i just said the fact that nobody or in nobody below outside of the America, nobody like how can I say this without it sounding offensive? <laughs> nobody I won't say refrigerates, but nobody cares mm-hmm. about shit being cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's just an American thing. You're right. Like no. like, like beer if, beer in Europe. They drink mm-hmm. beer in Europe more. And I'm like why? That's like that's ask, disgusting. Ask, asking <laughs> for asking for like but ice gotta, water. I was about to say because you gotta be careful with the ice. That's another big thing. Why? Because you know you can't drink the water in a lot of countries. A lot of places we went to, they they'll give you the water, but if you be like, can I get some ice water? It'll come water, and it had like two cubes in it, yeah. and the cubes is already melted. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Well, you just got to deal with this shit. Somebody like, else was telling me. Was that you that was telling me that they wanted to go into business with uh providing ice places? It probably was me. It was mm-hmm. either you or it was on another podcast that I was listening to. But <laughs> <laughs> just fucking just plus especially like when I was in Jamaica, mm-hmm. they wouldn't put ice in your shit for but nothing. nothing. <laughs> like nigga, I'm like, put some ice in this goddamn cup. I want my shit more ice and water. Yeah. Okay. Matter yeah. of fact, I I my, Bring me some ice in the cup. Yeah, exactly. And bring me some water. Bring me some water in the cup. Separate. I'll pour this water I, I into will, the cup. I will, will, will ration my own ice, thank you. <laughs> well, like, what, you, what y'all own? One ice machine back there? <laughs> I will say, like, a lot of the places that serve the liquor down there, they ice the cups pretty good. Like, they, they'll... <sighs> And then go to town on that liquor, man. I, they was like literally taking out crates of liquor at the end of the night, <laughs> like crates of empty bottles. I took I took two shots. Oh shoot! I, re- I regretted it <laughs> wholesale because my what was they shots of my uh, Patron? Okay, okay. My That's my uh, my girl had uh, she had had a rough night mm-hmm. the the day before. <laughs> and uh, we 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 got up the next day, and she told me like, I'm not drinking none today, and I forgot. Guess all day I was just like, nigga, this whole trip, I've drank I drank more virgin daiquiris this trip than I have my entire life. <laughs> I'm all like, nigga, whatever whatever she have in a virgin daiquiri, strawberry and mango, switch it up, mix them together. I'm a fuck, <laughs> just, just bring it bring it to me virgin. 
But this time, I uh she she went somewhere, and I was like, I just ordered I just ordered her some shit. And, uh, give me a virgin daiquiri. So I ordered her two shots of Patron, mm-hmm. and I got me a virgin daiquiri. And I was like, oh shit, she's not drinking today. Yeah. So now I just have these shots, and I can't waste them, and I can't like give them to some random girl here because that'd be a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I'm all like, well, these are mine now. So I'm sitting here just um, hit the, I'm on nigga, I'm gonna tell you, I'm sitting here looking like a rookie and shit. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking Oh man. And Patron, well to me, Patron is pretty smooth. I'm like, no, I, it's just like you I don't drink. Unless I'm depressed. Then I'm self destructive, then the shit don't be so bad because I'm already self fucking destructive. <laughs> These are all facts. Like, well, uh, yeah. okay. after, after my dad died and I had came to the bar with y'all mm-hmm. and, uh, and Ken was, uh, and Ken was ordering those doubles and shit. Yeah. I knocked them bitches back like a champ without even that's, thinking about it. That's man. fair. I'm, I'm already sad, nigga. Fuck all this shit. And, nah. <laughs> hey, Sabrina. They, uh, I still don't know what the fuck the name of those drinks was, but they, he ordered some, I think it was mango something. Mango bomb. Something like that. I, I, you didn't even taste the alcohol. All I think it was, I was like, nigga, this shit is delicious. <laughs> I had four of them bitches. And I'm sitting, nigga, I'm different. And I and I know I'm different because everybody around me is treating me different. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Everybody everybody around me is actually saying to my face, like, nigga, I, I, know, I know you got some alcohol in you because you don't even act like this. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm getting ready, and of course, when I get ready to go, no, nah, he, Marcus, don't follow him on me because mm-hmm. I'm all like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> I made it home. Did he did the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but nigga, I, I was having a good time, so that that alcohol was like ten times worse. I was just like, uh, and I had two, and I was. like, after that first one, I was thinking about quitting. I was like, I just can't feel it looking lonely right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't feel it as you stand up. Yeah, that's legit. I think that's what it is. I think that's what um that's what made people that's what made people ask you to follow me home because mm-hmm. I I had took I had took those four mango shots sitting, sitting down, down and yeah. I was just like nigga this is nothing. I went to stand up and was like, like whoa dude. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Yeah, take his ass. I'm like, nigga, mm-hmm. I'm fine. Fuck. <laughs> I weigh more than y'all niggas. I'll take a lot more than this to get me. <laughs> you might that's, weigh more, but that's what I said. Lightweight. That's what I said about those weed gummies. Yeah, the, the, the first, that one cruise that you was on, <laughs> yeah. it was done the, the whole time. The, the motherfuckers <laughs> took me out completely. I'm all like, I got nigga, my body weight is up. Nigga, these these gummies ain't gonna do shit to me. They <laughs> learned my ass, <laughs> learned my ass real good. <laughs> you said what, sir? Nigga, I'm. You know what? I, I, I'm so happy that I didn't go with my fir- my first mind because I took the one gummy mm-hmm. and didn't feel nothing. So I'm all like, okay, okay, man. Here, no, here, here's what threw me off. I went to camp. We went to camp. We went to Niagara Falls, mm-hmm. and we got gummies. Mm-hmm. But those Niagara Falls gummies was more gummy than weed. Mm-hmm. So oh, I didn't. So I, I didn't feel. It shit. I was basing it off of that. So I took the one gummy here mm-hmm. and didn't feel shit. So I'm like, fuck. Maybe it got like the same potency as the ones in Canada. So I'm like, all right. I took two more, but I was just like when I was drinking, I was sitting down Yeah. when I took them and shit. So the whole time I'm sitting I'm talking with my girl, not feeling shit. Go to stand up. World changes. Mm-hmm. Everything, <laughs> everything is the move. <laughs> Plus I'm on the ship. So, Where, I, so literally everything is moving. Yes, nigga. So, <laughs> nigga, your equilibrium's already, you're on this cruise ship that's constantly moving, so your equilibrium's already fucked up. Uh-huh. On we, nigga, you have no control of your legs. <laughs> <laughs> he said, my legs was just sitting there. Yeah. I'm happy, I'm, but I'm glad that that, that, that happened because mm-hmm. I was thinking about taking the other two gummies <laughs> on top of that. Oh, yeah, no. Nigga, I would have done. Been done. <laughs> Been done for I was our nigga. I, I I understand why I stayed straight edge like <laughs> my entire life. I shouldn't be 
the world inside my head, I can remember it clearly to this day. Uh-huh. It was so fucked up. <laughs> like, and I blame, and I hope she, I hope she watched it because I blame her for this shit. <laughs> she took me out of the room. Uh huh. After she clearly saw that I was that I was fucked up off those gummies, she was like, "You ready to go? You ready to go see? You ready to go see the ship?" I'm like, "I guess, I guess." Clearly doing all this shit. So we we as soon as I walked through the door, blacked out. I came to, and we was in a fucking cafeteria, <laughs> and I am I am putting food on the plate. <laughs> Just like. Like, like, what the here. fuck? But like, was I an autopilot? Nigga, I, I'm, I'm putting, Is this magic? Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm putting. No, you said you was fine. <laughs> no, you so nigga, did it. Yeah. So, nigga, I wait, nigga. When I tell you, nigga, this is my vision. <laughs> this, this, this small, this small this, square. That's it. This all of all this it. shit is darkness, and I am I am looking through this I'm small focused. square that is that is this far out in front of me, and I'm putting food on the plate. I am actively wobbling with this tray in my hand. We get back to the table. I am trying to eat, but for some reason, I go to pick up I go to pick up food, and it feel like I am it feel like the the whole wobble is is shifting. To the right, <laughs> and to the left. I can't. And then I, I go. I, t- I took, a, I took one bite of food. I took one bite. Didn't taste the food at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then, this is how I know. This is how I know I was actively trying to pass out. Mm-hmm. It felt like a ball in the cup, constantly rolling towards. Let's say, all right, let's say you, you turn this bottle upside down and you uh-huh. put a ball in it. Uh-huh. This was, this was, and the ball is constantly going towards this part. Uh-huh. That's how I felt in, in my <laughs> face. I'm all like, nigga, I am, I am, I am actively doing this at the table. I can feel me doing this shit. But I'm with my, my girl, she, she, so I wasn't high, I wasn't too high that I didn't see her doing this shit. And I heard, I heard her say, this nigga not gonna fuck up my vacation. I, act- <laughs> I actively heard her say that shit. She is, she is, stead- she is steadily eating. She not giving a fuck about none of the shit that's happened to me. <laughs> she like, hey, he'll be all right. <laughs> right. She just like, you, hey, you be good, fam. <laughs> she just like, fuck it. She's just continuing eating. I'm sitting here with the, I ain't had the one bite fork still in my hand, nigga. I'm actively passing out. She, she then was like, you want to go back to the room? I'm like, yes. Now, <laughs> at this point, my my field of vision is not this. Mm-hmm. It is now this. It's just a pinhole. Just just a pinhole, and the rest of this is darkness. My girl is actively dragging me through this ship by hand. <laughs> I can't see shit. I feel myself knocking into shit. I cannot see. I'm looking through this pinhole. And I'm like, and then she just disappears. <laughs> so she left me in this hallway. <laughs> I was laughing. We was just. She left me in this hallway to me by myself. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm, call, I'm like, baby, where you at? <laughs> I'm tripping in this hallway. <laughs> I am tripping so hard in this hallway. I'm like, baby, where you at? I can't see you. I can't. <laughs> Nigga, she come, she come back, grab my hand, <laughs> and lead me to the room. And she, she opened the room door. Out of nowhere, my vision becomes 40-40. <laughs> you are the cruise ship, the, the entire wall is just window. Mm-hmm. Nigga, when I tell you the entire ocean was in this room, <laughs> that entire, that entire, I'm sitting here tripping, and she's, I'm sitting there. I'm at, I didn't go in the room. I'm at the door, like, and she's sitting there, like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, I can't get it. <laughs> "Nigga, I stumble, I stumble into the room. I collapse, I collapse on the bed. <laughs> I pass out. I wake up. Of course, this this is when the high version of the high comes. Uh-huh. Now I wake up. I go to the bathroom. 
eyes red as shit. I'm all like, nigga, I am starving. My girl is asleep on the couch next to the bed. Uh-huh. She has taken one of my gummies and is about to go to sleep. No the fuck you're not. I'm starving. Let's go get food. <laughs> so she, in, in her credit, she got up and we went to go get food and I was good for like the rest of the night and shit. But nigga, that's, nigga. That's funny. I, nigga. But at least that was the learning experience. I was like, nigga, I'm, all of this, none, none of it. I don't want nothing. <laughs> I want no parts. It, I, I learned, I learned my, I learned my tolerance mm-hmm. that day. One gummy. One gummy. <laughs> one, one gummy had, one gummy had me good. I'd be ready to go to sleep. All that shit. One gummy. But even, even that's fucked up on the wrong day. Cause as, as a glutton for fun, as a, I don't know, outside, though. <laughs> it, was, it was probably bad. Yeah, nigga, in here. <laughs> in here, it she was said on the outside, you was like. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the room's this way. <laughs> <laughs> in, my, in my head, I am panicking. I am <laughs> done. <laughs> Ready? Ready? <laughs> I am going through it. <laughs> she just fucking. <laughs> She just, she just popping my drugs, getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> Shit the fuck out of here. Like, uh-uh. Hey, hey, so now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then she 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 doubly ain't shit. I didn't tell her that I was going to take. I still have some gummies left over from the cruise and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm all like, eh, I might as well take one. I took one. Not even like, I was just relaxing and shit. I was in the game. I was in my game room. Just here at the house. Pop the gummy. That shit, that shit finally kicked in. I'm mellow. I'm chilling. I'm high as fuck. I know it because shit, cause shit is just vibrant. Yeah. Her ass come barging in my game room. It's a bat in here and I need you to kill it. Fuck, man. I am high as fuck. <laughs> I am not prepared. I'm not prepared for this shit. You dealing with no animals, especially not no flying ones. <laughs> now I got to get my ass up, stump, stumble to the broom. Stumble to the bro. <laughs> now I'm sitting here. The bat looked twice as big as it actually was. I'm sitting here like, fuck. Now I'm sitting here trying to baseball this bitch. Not- high as shit. <laughs> Got that shit done. Had to. Yeah, definitely not shit. <laughs> Did that shit. Had to walk it outside. Then walk my ass back into the house. Back to the couch. Just. <sighs> Like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just fucking done. Any more bats got to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You would have been a mad motherfucker because I'm not, <laughs> not doing none of this shit. That's too funny. Yeah, but the, um, it's, that may, that, they island that they have, uh-huh. Norwegian. I was on the Norwegian sky this time. Don't know the name of the last cruise ship I was on. The Norwegian something. Something or other. Yeah. It might have been the escape because we we was at a, a port with another Norwegian boat called the escape. Okay. I think theirs looked way more lit because they had like water slides and shit at the top. Mm-hmm. Ours was just a pool and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> theirs had a water water slide and all this other shit and, and they... uh. The people who was working there was way... I mean, the people who was cruising there was way more lit. <laughs> but, um... I, I gotta get on me a cruise, man. The, that doesn't sound fun. The water there was... That was that was the clean... I think that was the cleanest water I've ever been in. Just... just If if, if animal life is a sign of clean water, mm-hmm. that shit... I have never swam... I, I, first of all, I never wanted to swim with jellyfish. Let's yeah. get that shit out the way yeah, right now. First off, but these are these are ba- these are babies. They were small. If we didn't look hard enough, we didn't see them. Mm-hmm. But of course, we as soon as we got there, a fucking white dude with a cup full, just call off these jellyfish, man. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, SpongeBob. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? All right. We fucking get in the water. Of course, we just. Of course, the sign of any good water is as soon as you step, as soon as you step in it, mm-hmm. you see little fish. Mm-hmm. First thing we saw, go out there, we go a little farther. Just soon, the more you do this, the more you smack a jellyfish. Mm-hmm. 
feel like it feel like a small. I told my girl like it feel like a small titty in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, uh, and then um, <clears throat> this this lady, she was snorkeling. And then she came out the water like, uh, "Be careful where you step, cause it's a stingray right next to you." I was like, "Me and my girl was like, huh? <laughs> like, what the fuck, the fuck is you saying right now?" <laughs> First of all, hell no, <laughs> that's a <for> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I'm all like, I'm happy. I'm happy we was in ocean water because I spent like ninety percent of." At the time, ocean water floating anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah, Never, just... ain't felt that light in years since mm-hmm. out here just mm, doing tricks on. That's ocean water taught us that pool water is the death of many people. <laughs> <laughs> me and my me and my girl talk about that shit all the time. How we made the mistake of thinking that we could do what we do in ocean water and pool uh-huh. water. We cannot. Yeah, it's yeah. something about it's something about that uh that whale sperm that just that just <laughs> lifts you up and just. It's the salt. That's where the salt come from, nigga. Oh, okay. whale sperm. Is... Got it. <laughs> was it tasty? Huh? Uh. It is delicious. Uh. My, first of all, my girl wouldn't give a fuck if that was whale sperm. She sent me into the water to test if the if if it was salty or not. <laughs> she, was, she was like, taste some of that water. See if it was salty. I'm like, what the fuck? The fuck is she saying me right now? What is this? <laughs> I think that's like his main trait. <laughs> no, she was nigga. She's so fucking funny. She was having a full blown freak out. She not used to like being in water, but like creatures in it. Ah, yeah. Uh, and and creatures at an in abundance. Mm-hmm. So she was touching. She was she was touching so many jellyfish that I wasn't touching that many because she was getting <laughs> she, them all. Yeah. <laughs> like nigga, she she was fr- like the first ten minutes she was just straight freaking out. Just eh, eh, I'm just sitting there dying laughing like. Fuck! This is hilarious. Made made that entire day trip. Man, see now now you got me thinking. I gotta I gotta plan something. I, w- I was thinking about just randomly. Doing I'm really, Canada I'm next, really next month. I'm really surprised that uh you and the other ones ain't like yeah, booked a cruise, cruise together and shit. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta figure. Y'all motherfuckers out. coming with random trips to go. I'm surprised it might have been like nigga. I I feel like it was in the talks for some time next year, but I but I feel like they ain't really said nothing on it. So I gotta see. I I was legit. Thinking about randomly going to Canada for a weekend next month, but I was like, maybe, maybe I won't do that. And I'll just by yourself. Yeah. Why? Take do stuff with people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed like it was gonna be more fun if I went by myself. Hi, <laughs> sir. I don't, I don't know. I, you, I, um, you need trips. Are, trips are fun when you have something to bounce people. When you have, when you're able to bounce fun off other people. What I saw there was this comedy show. That I was looking at, and there's like one ticket in the second row, and I was like, I could just get that, and I could. Just I mean, that's fine. Get me a little, get me a, get me a uh, room over there, and just chill. Oh, you, you nigga. Ah, uh, listen, you you can't spend your life like fucking random bitches that you find on <laughs> solo trips <laughs> that you be going on. What are you? You think, where is you this? think I don't know what you be ah, doing, man? Okay. Ah. Don't know, don't nobody in the world want to take this many solo trips. <laughs> Marcus go on solo trips and just fuck random bitches that he finds I on these trips and shit. Okay? Know what this man is talking <laughs> you about? You can't fool me, nigga. All right. <laughs> Most people who go on vacation want to go on vacation with people. Nobody just want nigga. Nobody just wakes up and be like, I want to go to Jamaica alone. Just to I, fucking. I have not been to Jamaica alone. That nigga, I'm, I'm bitch. I'm using that as a I know. No I, know. I know. I know. Nobody just wants to go on a trip. Nigga, I would never want to go on a cruise by myself, nigga. I'm trying, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to do some fucking. All right? If I wasn't, if I wasn't in a situation, if, if I invited a girl on a cruise, I'd be like, she, she would go with the caveat of, we doing some fucking. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you going to, speak, speak, because yo, because you motherfuckers think you slick. This nigga think, see, you <laughs> motherfuckers, cut, hey, all right, look. My girl said probably one of the craziest statements mm-hmm. that I have ever heard in my life. But she believed it wholeheartedly because she's so fucking wholesome. It's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> she said, uh, of course, it's a cruise. So it's it's it wouldn't be unheard of for you to go on a cruise single. Because oh, it okay. was it was singles on our cruise. Gotcha. Here's the thing. 
I, I told her, like, singles come on cruises. Uh, and the, you know what I'm saying? For the, for the same reason that the rest of us do, to have fun and all the shit, drinking all this shit. But, you know what I'm saying? They also looking to do some fucking. <laughs> and she was like, what? She, she, that concept never crossed her mind. She, could, she couldn't even fathom that, like, single people would, like, try to, try to fuck <laughs> on a cruise ship. And my, and we have been following this, this one, this one white woman around. She clearly single. She clearly there by herself. Mm-hmm. Nice. She, she an older woman, but she, if I wasn't. She was put together. Yeah. I'm like, mm, if I wasn't, I would have, I would take my shot at you. Cause <laughs> we have, we have seen her around the cruise. Uh, we have seen her around the cruise talking to many men. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. she is there to get some fucking. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure she got some. She was set up nicely for this this beautiful threesome, because she was she was uh she was she was nice and chummy with this uh blonde who was acting ju- just as ditzy as she was. They mm-hmm. they they could have been best friends. I don't know if they, <laughs> I don't know if they uh they was the way they was acting. You would think they came on a cruise together, together. the three of them. Uh huh. But I didn't see them together all the time. I don't know what the situation was, but she was there by herself. Mm-hmm. But she was interacting with this couple as if like, like, dude. She was if, trying to, she was trying to shoot like both if, of them. If, 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 I was like, if husband had played his cards right, nigga, that is a threesome. Guaranteed. <laughs> and she is down. That's what's up. Plus they had like, they had like, uh, singles nights and like mixers for singles and shit. I'm all like, okay. I'm telling my girls like, yes, single people come on cruises for what we are here for. But they also want to get some fucking in. Because why the fuck, man? Come on here and fuck some motherfucker. You probably ain't going to never see again in your life. That's the reason I don't wear a shirt. I'm never going to see none of you motherfuckers again in my life. You got to deal with these roles. I got a homegirl. That's how, that's how she ended up with her daughter. She was on a cruise. <laughs> some random dude. I'm like, I heard that. And I was like, really? She fucked him? Well, obviously, if she got a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just some fucking in this nigga. I'm telling you, the fuck. And the people when you on a, nigga, every everybody nigga, everybody on that cruise, not giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. You would never wear that bikini back at back right. home around people that uh that know you that know you and you gonna see every day. Exactly. But here you in this cruise, your face around. Nah. but here on this cruise full of people that you never never gonna see again in your life, nigga. Guess what? Two piece. Deal with this shit. Titties out, ass out, rolls out. All day. <laughs> yeah. I'm like nigga, I don't blame you because I'm not. I I wholeheartedly adhere to the fat rules. Anytime I'm in Flint or in the Greater United States, we all family on that boat. <laughs> but uh, but on that cruise ship, nigga, guess what? Shirts off, all right. And you gonna have to deal with this shit. I wish a motherfucker would complain to me, bitch. I don't even know you. Right. Like, so, um, sir, could you put so, your man titties away? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. Matter of fact, I'm gonna dip it in this tequila. Had his had his had his random white woman <laughs> suck on his bitch. <laughs> That's too funny. Give you give you something really to explain to your two uh, infant twins over there. <laughs> <laughs> infant twins, why are they here? <laughs> I don't look. Why is me, that hairy me, man feeding that me, lady? First of all, <laughs> me personally, I I don't understand why people bring kids of a certain youth mm-hmm. on cruises. Yeah, because they wanted to get away and they had no babysitter. Yeah, that <laughs> or people be like, I want them to uh, I want them to experience this and this, and I'll be I like, want them to be able to tell they 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 five, fifth grade classmates that they they done been to the Bahamas on a cruise first of all, ship and- before a certain age. Kids don't care about none, none of that, that shit. None of it. That's why I, I told my girl, like, before a certain age, you this is just a wasted experience. They they don't understand the gravity of what of what they're actually around. Like you in a whole nother country, a whole nother culture. Mm-hmm. You don't even understand that. You 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 just know that I can't get on the slide right now. <laughs> like what exactly. the fuck? Right. Or I'm not eating ice cream right now. I'm not like I'm I wouldn't, out of school. I wouldn't even like I wouldn't even take a kid on a cruise that's under 14. Maybe if it was like a maybe Disney 15. Cruise. Maybe a Disney cruise. Or a Disney cruise. Yeah. Because that's kid friendly. But like just a, 
Oh, and it depends. Some because like some crews be having like the little whole little kids sections, like where they, they can just like it's a whole arcade that they can just go through all day. Our our crew said they had they had an arcade, they had team night, they had a, a a kids pool and all this other shit. But so basically a a fucking a cruise daycare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as like the full understanding. As the as gravity an, of the situation. As, 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 a, as, as an adult, yeah. we understand, like, nigga, we, we are stepping foot in a place that most motherfuckers will never be able to afford mm-hmm. to even come here, yeah. even buy shit. Yeah. So you understand, like, the, the, the gravity. Yeah. You appreciate where the fuck you at. Kids will just sit. Can we go back to the ship now? Who the <laughs> fuck are you to- What? I will punch you. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm all like, I, I just don't want to do. <laughs> this, this, is how, this is how I know I'm from the old school, okay? Me and my girl is waiting for an elevator. Uh-huh. There is a, uh, there is a mom holding the elevator for somebody who, I guess, I guess she's waiting for somebody to come back to the elevator. She has a little boy in there. Mm-hmm. Some young punk motherfucker. And I hear him say to his mom. See, this is this is why I don't even like you sometimes. And I'm sitting here, I'm like you know how much she just paid for you to I'm, be I'm, here? I'm like I'm like motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, all like, <laughs> I'm all like I'm all like clearly you grew up not being smacked at all. Enough. Hey, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Like, not, at all. not just enough at all. Because what what the fuck did you just say to me on this five thousand dollars? Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, dude, I could have left you with your aunt. I be, you could have look. You could have been in the in the bed with your three cousins, <laughs> but I got you. Are you on this cruise with me? <laughs> he he was he was he was he was too sport. He, I'm all I'm nigga. Uh, the the dad big brother uncle with me came. I was a uh, nigga. I was like. We I'm got like, on, we got on a whole different elevator. I was like, nigga, you 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 are about to be slapped by me, sir. I'd have right? looked at the mama like, say the word, say the <laughs> word. I will, it's too many cameras around. <laughs> like, nigga, I, I, I will I will hem <laughs> just just one quick. I, I will hem I will hem this baby up for you right now. I swear to God. Hey, it's a railing over here. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna know. <laughs> I'm all like, nigga, dude. I'm all like, this, this, what? Shoot, that's, I, got, that's dude, got me hot. Got my blood balling, nigga. I made the mistake. I made the mistake of. All right. <laughs> it was freshman year of high school. Mm-hmm. My dad, I was. It was me. It was. It was my. My dad had said something to me, and I was. I was with my little cousin. Jaquavis, who's in jail now and good, because nigga, I stopped liking you after this. <laughs> my dad had said, my dad had said something to me. I don't know what it was, but you know how when your parents piss you off and yeah. you and you walk away uh-huh. and you say something slick under your oh, breath. Yeah. So I'm walking away. And I think I, I I said something to the to the, I said something to the effect of, "Damn man, I'll beat your ass" or something, <laughs> or something like that. My cousin Jaquavis disappears. This nigga comes back and told me, tells me my dad wants to talk to me. Uh, I go up in there, dirty, and uh, he was like, "You said you want to be who ass?" I look dead at this nigga in his face. This nigga's <laughs> laughing in my ah! face. Nigga, when I do him now, <laughs> we good. Yes. Him now, yeah, bitch. Now, now you, <laughs> motherfucker. Now you, okay. <laughs> uh, be tired of fuck dare you. Bitch, you don't even go here. Ah, how the fuck are you saying that? Ah. First, uh. first, I'm like, first of all, nigga, my life is doubly in danger. My dad is a second degree black belt. You have <laughs> no idea what kind of danger you was supposed to be in. Right, like, bro. <laughs> then it's, this motherfucker gonna try to come and apologize to me later. Once we saw I was annoying his ass and was on the verge of whooping it. I'm trying to come in the pot. No, nigga, no, fuck you. No, fuck you, you nigga, get the fuck all snitched so hard. And that was oh, that wasn't even his first time snitching on me. Ah, oh, see, it was the last time, but <laughs> I 
we was at the car wash. Mm-hmm. And my bro I was watching uh my nephew. He was he was a he was a uh, he was a not a he he was a toddler. Mm-hmm. Around five or six. And he had this toddler, he had this whatever. He had <laughs> did something he had did something, something slick. And I and I thumped him in his head and shit. He didn't even register it. He was just like, ow. And he just went back to doing whatever the fuck he was uh-huh. doing. I was just like, nigga, stop that shit. As soon as his dad came in, he thumped your, he, he thumped your son, man. I'm like, what the fuck? That wasn't even worth you. Nigga, you just told for the fun exactly. of this. Exactly. Like, 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 are you? You doing this for sport I'm now. like, nigga, do you think I'm going to get in trouble or something? Exactly. Like, like, at this point, I was, I was kind of grown. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck <laughs> is you saying? <laughs> See. No, actually, I wasn't, I was in high I wasn't grown to, but I was, in, I was in high school, and plus I've been bigger than my brother for like <laughs> most of my fucking life. If this shit was the nigga, I'm wrestling you to the ground. So he's exactly, away, like, 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 but I'm not like nigga. You just that's why I I I, I just stop <laughs> I just stop fucking with him because like nigga, uh, fuck you twice. But also nigga, uh, the mor- moral of the story is, uh, stay here for forever. <laughs> Cause I feel okay. like I feel like you gonna have kids that that talk back to you. No. I don't I don't know what you are gonna do about that. Nah. Especially if a daughter. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, hey, you, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Go talk to your mama. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be your weakness, is it? Like a daughter, is it? Yeah, cause I, I saw I saw this video and I'm like, this could be Marcus. This 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 little this little cute ass, super cute ass little girl. Uh, she was sad and she was holding a stick of Pringles, and she was and her mom and the mom was like, uh, what's wrong? And she was like, open, open. And, she, and the mom was like, you can't have that because uh, it'll ruin your breakfast. You can't have it right now. We about to have breakfast. Dad walks in. She was like, Daddy, and Daddy just straight opened it in front of the mom. <laughs> The mama's like, hey, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> he went down and gave her a kiss. He's like, you spoiled motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, that's going to be Marcus. That's Marcus. <laughs> They're going to go straight behind my baby. Daddy, can I add it? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Anything you want, princess? <laughs> no, right. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I'm meeting, I'm so happy I'm meeting them kids. <laughs> Sit your ass down, you little ugly. All that. All that. <laughs> Apparently, my my girl think my girl think. Uh, now you gotta apologize to mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like I he yeah you. <laughs> you're like uh, my bad, babe. But but, but did you see her face? <laughs> wow, she did the face. That's the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she cried. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Letter? Yes. Hell no. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I am a I am a huge advocate of letting kids cry. That is my shit. Nigga, get it all out because eventually you're gonna run out of water and this shit's gonna be done. <laughs> <laughs> my girl told me uh on the, we was talking on the cruise and she was like, uh, you gotta quit calling the uh kids little uglies and shit like that. And I was like, No. <laughs> that's just that's just our relationship now. It's too. It's too late. It's for a me term to, of endearment. It's too late for me to change. It's not even a term of endearment. I want. You, I'm telling you. I, I'm bringing that ego right back down to where it need to be, because <laughs> your, your life is full of people call, telling you that you can be anything you want to, and you're beautiful and all this other shit. Just let. Just let. Just let. Just let stepdad bring you. Bring you back down to reality. Man. He said, "Let me just uh, spark that. Uh, that 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 reality back yeah. in you. We going. Yeah. You 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 you're ugly. You ugly sometimes. Sometimes y'all stink." <laughs> I gotta let that head shrink back down. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta openly. Re- I have to openly remind y'all on 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 days they got a really bad habit on on days where they not doing shit uh, like going to school or like going somewhere. They just be chilling. No, they no will, shower. No, no shower. <laughs> Run, brush their teeth, wash uh, their faces. Like, hey, hey, just still go get ready for life. I be, I'll be having, I'll be having to stop there. I was like, did you wash your face? No. Did you brush your teeth? No. Are you wearing deodorant? No. Get the fuck up out of here. Both of y'all. <laughs> like, like what the fuck? Go, go. You have to. You are little girls. You have to do this shit every day. Uh-huh. 
I don't know. Before y'all even get into the mind frame of skipping days, one of y'all. you is already damn near a tomboy. We got to knock this shit out right now. <laughs> like y'all as little girls, you cannot know. Just you cannot every day brush your teeth, wash your face, uh, deodorant, lotion, all this Why shit. You gotta be so hard. <laughs> Cause nigga, I want. Cause you have to nip this shit in the bud now yeah. before it becomes a bad habit that uh, leads to a fucked up situation. Yeah. Now, if if I if I let their ass go out, if I don't check them and they go out and, and they leave the house and go to school, mm-hmm. funky and musty, them kids is ruthless. They are, and they gonna let your ass have it. Mm-hmm. God forbid you in like a sensitive situation with a, with a little boy or some shit, and then you you fuck and little boys talk to each other. Yeah. Man, I was I don't even want to talk about one of my daughters like this, but I was I was uh you know me and her was and I smelled like this and I was oh. I'm all like, nigga, do you, yeah. you my, don't my, be known as my, the musty girl. my kids will not be the, the musty, musty fishy girl. Right. Like, nigga, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Go shower, put on deodorant, wash your face, brush your teeth, make this shit a habit. If you're not, I'm going to clown you here <laughs> so you won't so, be clowned over there. Exactly. <laughs> get, my, you, get your hired for the streets. My shit is, my shit is for the greater good. <laughs> It's better. It's better. It's better to get this shit out at home than before you get to get to school and a group of motherfuckers roast your ass. And some strangers tell you what. Exactly. <laughs> some strangers tell you what you should have learned at home. It's gonna hey, it's, it's, it's gonna hurt less coming from me. Uh-huh. Because once once the, you might get mad at me, but you get over it. It's gonna <laughs> yeah, hey. But them streets. I been not no. I it's gonna it's gonna hurt more. Come from people who you are trying to actively impress. Yeah, that's or fair. actively like trying to get along with. The motherfuckers that be, you know, uh, I would, but you got like a stench coming off you, uh, ma'am. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had a PP on through my Am I reading this room? Uh, a, no. pee, a peep here. Oh, a peep here. Somebody who smell like pee? Uh, oh, uh-huh. a pee boy. Oh, that's fucked up. Dang, see? That's fucked up. You don't know he what he probably still think about. That. You know it's fucked up. He he probably had one day where he was yep. where he forgot that or just 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 something. And now you just that you somebody just... punched him in his stomach. <laughs> and he and he and he, and he whizzed on himself just a little bit. <laughs> now you now you that pee boy for the now rest of your life. Boy for the rest of your life. Shut up, Johnny. That's why you peed on yourself. That was in sixth grade. Like, we about to graduate high school, high school. sir. <laughs> That's so fucked up. That's messed up. That is. I tell you what, what the fuck, what got me, nigga. I used to, first of all, little boys are dirty anyway, and they kind of expect to be that way because they're boys. But what what cleaned me up was a uh, actually a teacher. I was a uh, I was in middle school, and I don't know what it was, but uh, I reached over. A teacher was like getting something from up under the desk, and I reached over her uh-huh. to get something. And she came back up, and she was like, "Whoo!" She was like, "She didn't say it all. She uh-huh. she was like real low key with it, but she was right. looking at me. She was like, she was like, she was like, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> nigga! When I tell you this, this was the first time ever in life. I went to the bathroom, got some of that hand soap. Ah, uh, yep. All right, bitch. <laughs> Them paper towels, nigga. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Real quick. Oh no." Mm-mm. I'm like, Nick, and, and what made it so bad, though, it was close to lunchtime. So that means that I have been, un, unbeknownst know, right? to me, like this all I have, day. I have been, like, Rough. just just arms up around like, bad bitches. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we was, we was doing jumping jacks in gym class today. <laughs> I'm just a bit funky as shit. I'm just like, nigga. Just living your life like it's golden. <laughs> But to, to be fair, and this is why this is why I envy this is why I envy the new generation over the generation that I grew up in. Mm-hmm. Cause today, nigga, I, if I was a kid growing today, I would never be nothing. I would never be musty, especially being a boy. Mm-hmm. Cause smelling good costs twenty dollars. Exactly. Really, ten. I did the math. I've been to the, <laughs> I've, I've been to the dollar store. It's very cheap. It is. It is. I'm like, nigga, I'm like, nigga, where was this shit when I was 
wasn't even no dollar store when I was young. Yeah, right, was it? Right. It was there. We just didn't know about it like that. Nigga, where? I don't know. I don't know. I grew up in the terrace. We had that Kmart and Resort Mall, <laughs> which had nothing. Well, not not a nah, <laughs> none of them. Yeah, so basically, yeah, we yeah. had a, we had a Kmart and that right here that was right there. Oh, Myers is on the record. Yeah. yeah, who was getting it? Yeah. <laughs> but nigga, I was like, nigga, duh. that's why still to this day, I keep a stick of deodorant in the car just in case. You know, if you if you just extra sweaty one day, I'm keep no, it out there. My girl get mad because I I keep an entire whole bag in the car. <laughs> exactly. I got nigga. It's it's toothbrush. Toothpaste, deodorant, uh, body spray, uh, soap, uh, liquid and bar. Mm-hmm. Dang. I'm talking about nigga. It's, it's it, I'm talking about everything to like wash yourself up before you mm-hmm. get home from a good night of cheating. <laughs> ah! It's in that bag. <laughs> I'm like nigga. That's nigga. That's true. That fragrance didn't last long. That remember that? Oh, remember that? It was like it started with a J. It was this cologne that used to be at all like the little cheap little stores, like the hair stores and stuff like that. But it used to spray funny, like it didn't used to like, sh- but like it was like. Sh- so we used to buy them so we could take a lighter to. First them. of all, it sounded like you just put air in a tire. <laughs> it juke? might be. It might be. I, I, it might be. What juke. the fuck is jupe? I can't remember, but I know there was this one. It was this one real cheap cologne that we used to buy. Just to uh, we would you could like spray it, and then you know like light a lighter so it make a whole little flamethrower. Cause like the way it was sprayed, it wouldn't just like spritz like. I'm about to say, cologne. wasn't that most colognes? No, no. Nah. Well, most cheap colognes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It might have been. I know there was a couple of them, but this this aerosol. <laughs> that's how it was sprayed. Legit. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now. In high school, once I once once that teacher scarred me for life. Yeah. In high school, I never spelled bad. Why? I, yes, I was one of those axe body spray niggas. And you better believe, nigga, every day, nigga, hit the body, shh, hit the clothes. Shh. He said, double piss, nigga. Chesty. I'm telling you, nigga, was was nigga, nigga, nigga that, that that new scent, nigga, that that ice water sprinkle, whatever the fuck that shit, nigga. I, nigga, I stayed with the axe body spray, nigga. I was king, bitch. I'm like, nigga, oh shit, and and that's back when uh, I asked body spray was the shit. I was all <laughs> now, motherfuckers. If you wear some Axe body spray right now, Bro, motherfuckers will clown you. You getting blazed? <laughs> you getting took to the ringer, bro? But nigga, back in the day, nigga, you smell like Axe body spray. Fresh. You you got you got pussy. <laughs> I can't with that bitch smelling right. He got me fucked up. <laughs> the reason why I, I rock with cologne the way I do now is because there was this girl in high school. I just happened to have a couple of spritz of this uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier that I still wear every now and then. That sounds like some shit you sneak from your dad room. I don't yes. even know what the fuck you. <laughs> yes. And like, um, I just happened to have, because like what I would do, like I had this, this uh, like I wouldn't even like Put it on, put it on. I'll just put a couple spritzes inside my, um, like inside my hoodie. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just open the, open, I was about to say, open the door. <laughs> open, the, open the jacket, because it was a zip jacket. You know, like, and I mean, I remember this one girl, she walked up to me one morning, she gave me a hug, and she was like, What is that? And I was like, What? And she's like, What you got on? And I was like, Oh, it's this, uh, it's, I don't know, it's in this bottom look like a dude. <laughs> and she was like she was like that smells amazing and like uh that was my first cologne compliment and i've probably gotten thousands since then <laughs> i'm mad because my dad i don't know how i used to look at the i used to look at this nigga's cologne mm-hmm. This dude always smelled amazing. That's how my dad was. Too. And, and and when he took his clothes off, his clothes smelled amazing. Yeah. And I would look, and I'm all like, I would, no matter how hard I could try, I could never duplicate that dad smell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't. This nigga just had the scent of dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck hey, it was. Facts. But it's just fuck. It's it's a it's just a scent that dads have. 
that you you try you your try to you still you still your dad's cologne. You just be spraying and it, it don't it, hit the it's, same. It's not, when you it's smell your hitting. when you smell your dad, you be like nigga, fuck. What is that? Show me the exact method. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> just sit there watching like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it was two spritz of this, a spritz of that. Was that baby powder? <laughs> nigga, my dad used to smell immaculate. Oh my, I used to do. It's gonna sound creepy, and I swear to God, it's not meant to. <laughs> I used to I used to smell this nigga's white t shirts like and it and, and it felt if it smelled like like dad. Yeah. it just it just felt now, like comforting. Like home. <laughs> <laughs> That's how my dad was. <laughs> like when I tell you like this he was known because he was he was a he was a college professor. He was known as like the smell good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and like 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 you could tell he was in this hallway. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, he had this whole layered system where it was like a little bit of this and some of that. And not, I, I mean, that's how I felt when I went in, uh, when, I mean, I, when I went to uh, his bedroom because of course single dad, so the only smell is that. Yeah, and he just walking there like, damn, just, <laughs> <laughs> just dad. Oh man, that's that smell. I could never to this day. I I got several of his colognes up there so, to this day. Still can't duplicate it, but in in my that sm- that smell is so like ingrained, and printed on my yep. mind yep. that I can still smell it when I think hard enough about it. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, oh man, Same that. Man. <laughs> like, like it's not it's not like an exact <coughs> smell, but I bet you, like, if I was somewhere and I smelt it, I'd be like, you trip out like that. I I'd right, be like, like that. You know, like that. that That's that why I don't even. I don't, mind. My brother, my uh. My brother live in uh in uh, his old house and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to go up over there because if I go in that bedroom and I and I get a whiff, I'm gonna be like, I might start crying. Uh-huh. And shit. Damn, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, like, that. <laughs> that shit hurt my fucking. Oh That's man, facts. That's oh facts. What's so fucking? <laughs> <laughs> Bring back all oh, kind of memories. I want to make I want to make like some popcorn with this with this with this regular salt on it, just so I could. Just it's just little shit that takes yeah. me down. Yeah. I, I almost bought like a, a diet finger cola just mm-hmm. for the just for the, the taste to bring back that memory and shit. Yeah. Just, oh man. Ugh. <laughs> Dirty motherfucker. All right. Yeah. Oh man, memories, memories, memories. <laughs> As I cr- cry in the corner. I know, right? <laughs> We're going to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh man alright let me get this uh, let me get this little shit out the way uh, I wanted to start off by saying uh, fuck you to Safari mm, what'd he do if you don't know who that is that is the ex uh, Nicki Minaj that is the ex boyfriend or fiance of Nicki Minaj mm-hmm. the one who got talked about openly to his face in fr- uh, by Drake and Lil Wayne mm-hmm, yeah I used to feel, nigga, I felt bad for you when that when that uh, song came out, but then I I started to like see you as the person you perceived the lame. to be, and I the was like, lame. nigga, I I would have did that shit too because you yes. you kind of lame, more than kind of. I used to, nigga if nigga if remember when if, you if, I, if I was dating a girl uh-huh. and her coworkers was like, <laughs> and her coworkers was like. <laughs> I never fucked Nikki, but she she looked like she needs some digging her life. Because whoever hit it, they hit it right. I was like, I'd be like, like, now wait a minute. Like, fam, are you okay? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know I heard that. <laughs> it's on the radio. <laughs> Bruh. I'd be like, I thought we was cool. <laughs> Something like, mother. She kissed Nas in front of you. Oh. Fucking suck. <laughs> that's gotta be rough that has got to be rough getting filled up by Michael J. White in that video mm. I dare you say something let me kick your damn head on your shoulder like what was that <laughs> oh man oh man so he so what'd he do this fucking cornball ass nigga he's super corny remember he, when he, he freestyled on, on the breakfast club and Charlotte Baby God was like Nah. 
That ain't it. <laughs> it was. It was definitely it was not, not it. Uh, so this this article said uh, Safari reacts to Hall- cause Halle Berry uh, just settled things with her ex husband. Yeah. And, and apparently she got to pay him eight mm-hmm. uh, k a month for child support, which is kind of a win for both of them. Legit, but that child support low as fuck. But and he getting child support period, so that's pretty much a win for him. But he also got a. Uh, she also has to pay uh, four point three percent of her income over two million. That's over two million. Though. So like, if she make uh, so if she if she if she say like, make my check one point, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not working the rest of the year. <laughs> like no, she could. For every movie she did, like make it one point nine. Well, no, because like if you make one point nine and then you make another one point nine, so it's I think it's probably per year. So if you make more than two million in a year, he gets four point three percent. Thought it was per thought it was per project or per check or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I think it, it's probably per year. Mm. That's usually how something like that would would be. But anyway, so so far uh, said uh, so far reacts to uh, Halle Berry agreeing to pay eight k and child. Uh, AK a month in child support to her ex-husband. Mm-hmm. A man getting support is crazy. He might as well put on a dress. Bruh. Shut, shut up. So a man <laughs> getting to... Exactly. See, see so, Safari, can, Safari can feel this way because in his own child support situation, mm-hmm. he kind of got off light. Yeah. Very yeah. light. But if, if, if his baby mom was like taking his ass to the ringer, yeah, his ass would be like child support, man. Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> this fucking this motherfucker. And of course, the the comments is eating his ass alive because bitch, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Like, shut up, Safari, sir. <laughs> bitch, if nigga, if he, nigga, look, that's what you give for being famous. I yeah. stay, I stay, I'll stay home with the kids and do, exactly. do, do the homework and take them mm-hmm. to school and be here when they sick. When they sick, while your ass is over there doing movie premieres and shit. Or Safari, exactly. when your ass mm-hmm. is shooting your, your one show you famous for. Exactly. Okay, sir? Doing God that. forbid they pull a love and hip hop off the TV. What the fuck you gonna do with your life? Your OnlyFans was a bust. <laughs> Clown ass nigga. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Fuck you, Safari, man. You fucking suck. Don't. I'm glad Nikki dumped you. <laughs> and you know what? I I don't feel bad no more than Lil Wayne and Drake uh, clown joy. <laughs> exactly. They definitely I was act- now I, I was- Exactly. Back then, I was like, dang, they ain't had to do bro like that. Nah. I was actively rooting for Drake to fuck Nikki. Oh, bro, was- what? You? You too? <laughs> Nikki. I was like, man. Like, get, get that shit. Get that shit. I don't give a fuck now. <laughs> Every dude that got a coworker, he been trying to smash, <laughs> but she had a dude who felt like Drake. <laughs> Whoever he ain't hitting it right, cause she act yeah, like she, she need dick in her life. life. Good God, sir, that's a bar right there. <laughs> I made this beat. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, man? <laughs> he was probably like Nick, Nick. They they didn't think I was gonna hear it, or <laughs> or, they, or they or they didn't care, or they didn't care. Hey, I mean, but they know it was me, right? They know that we together. <laughs> they didn't 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 give a, a didn't give a shit about you. The next Young Money picnic was probably kind of awkward. <laughs> Oh hey fellas! <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, bitch. I I dare you. I dare, I dare you to make a hoopla, nigga. Oh man. Oh my god, that. <laughs> we brought some potato salad. I just I'll just be up here holding Nikki first. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's probably for the best. I'm sorry you get loud here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, y'all did y'all think on that track? I wonder how you felt uh, watching Nicki kiss Nas. That's a good question. And flirt and flirt with Michael J. White, especially Mike nigga. Mm. 
I mean, on look, on a good day, you might be able to take Wayne, Drake. You might even be yeah. able to take Nas. Maybe. But nigga, if, if Michael J. White decides to slide up in this shit, nigga, you just about to take this L. It's a capital L, too. This motherfucker perform a spinning back fist dead to your good day. I feel like he'll probably, he'll probably like do the most and then stop right before he punch you in the face just to watch you like pee on yourself. <laughs> just sitting there shaking like, oh. No, I feel like Mike, Michael J. White is one of the people that like, He'll like hit you with a roundhouse kick to the stomach mm-hmm. and then sit there and watch you concave into yourself. Facts. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> just, just ball up, mm-hmm. just roll away. <laughs> then by the by the time you wake up from that, like they they done fucking up. So mm-hmm. Man, these headphones have not been agreeing with me today. This is your damn hat, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, but I wear a hat every single episode. <laughs> nigga, I've been sitting here watching nigga. I've been struggling today. <laughs> I've been sitting here watching your ass. Like, your hat is, like, actively like, moving it, around. Which is, it is. Which is, which is moving the headphones, which is fucking annoying you. It is. It's, 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 it's on my nerves today. I, don't, I feel like I ain't messed with my hat or headphones this much in the episode before. You really haven't. Like, you just going, you going through some shit. <laughs> I definitely am. I was just letting you just, I'm like, just eventually, doing it. eventually you, you're getting right. Nope. I'm going to probably be like this the whole episode. <laughs> Try to ignore it. It's all scrunched up in the front. All right. At me... first, I'm like, are you scratching your forehead? No. With your head? Like, what the <laughs> no. Fuck is, it's just the fuck you got going on. And over then there? I feel like it's rubbing my forehead in a weird spot. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm just struggle busting this. Struggle busting. <laughs> See now, I feel like I didn't move my hat in a weird spot. Oh, yeah, anyway. I am happy. I'm happy that you even like here because we had a we had a, a storm last night. We did have a storm. I slept through that and, the uh, whole thing. The whole thing. I woke up. I heard sirens. You know what? I can't. I can't even be mad because I've slept through storms before. But I'm like, nigga, you could have died. I heard, <laughs> I heard the tornado warning. Mm-hmm. I legit like lifted my head up from the pillow. I heard the tornado warning, and then I rolled back over. <laughs> I was, hey, hey, this sleep is important, big dog. I remember, I'm like, I hear, I look up, I'm like, nah. <laughs> I just rolled, I'm legit a, rolled right I'm back a, over and I'm crossed a, up. I'm a die. I was done. I'm a die sleeper. I'm a, hey, look, if it's my time to go, at least I went comfortably. So I, did I tell you about my new bed? I know. I, I got an adjustable bed. Joint is nice. Craftmatic? It's I don't know what it is. It's 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 I can't remember the brand. The one where you can lift the head up yeah. to the seat. So it so so it'd be like this, and you can like lift the feet up, you can lift the head up, you uh, can put it in the, the zero gravity mode. Marcus, you, you are can put it in T V mode. Marcus, you are thirty-three, <laughs> sir. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Hey man, what I tell you, why do you, nice. why, it, do you why do you why do you have that? Why do you have that? You're not a grandpa. <laughs> You're not even a papa. You're none of this shit. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you that joint is nice, it's not just for old people, but you get one. See? I got you. Nah. How much was that bit? Um, it was like, so I got it on sale. It was. <laughs> it's like you still bought some fucked up shit. Go ahead. No, it was only like, it was like, it was probably like 15, 1600. Nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I will sleep my poor ass on my poor mattress Dude, where I belong. It's, it's um, what's the brand? What's the brand? City Poster? No, Dream Cloud. The fuck is that? It's the same company that owns like Nectar and stuff like that. I like it. <laughs> look, you should look at. I'm you. not. I'm not saying. That they not come from. I've been, I've tried those bids at the store. Mm-hmm. I look. I personally feel like, in the relationship that I'm in, and she's listening, so I want her to listen up when I say this. Shit. <laughs> I feel like those bids will be useless, because her ass, you know, sleep number bids. Yeah, where your side can be this, this, uh, this, this hard, or this soft, and, and shit. Yeah. 
her ass will be on my half. <laughs> so her number means nothing. It's a Bible fucking number. <laughs> this is a waste of a, this is a waste of another half of me. <laughs> this side is doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> This is dumb. I gotta. All I'm gonna do is end up making my side uh, comfortable for you because your ass is up over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fair. That might be fair. The fuck? I can put the price on. <laughs> she talking about her because I sleep. I sleep in uncomfortable positions like nightly. So, I'm pretty much good now. Yeah. Sometimes I will say like if I fall asleep and it's like part up. And I done rolled over. Now I'm like, so if it's in like the zero gravity where the head's up and the feet's up, mm. but I done turn. Now I'm in like a little crunched up ball because it's like this, and I'm just in the middle. Mm. And I'd be like, yeah, I got to chill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wake up, reach around for the remote. Like you, you fall asleep and right. see. <laughs> now you gotta. If she want, if she wanted, if she wanted a bed like that, I wouldn't stop her from getting it. I don't know if I would put in on it. <laughs> That's gonna be a purchase that you make. But I'm all right, nigga. I'm not. I'm not participating in all this head up, feet up, and on. My side is is just gonna be flat. I was about to say yeah, entire, you for that entire time. <laughs> mine, mine is a queen size, and the whole thing moves as one. But you can get the king size that split. Usually, like king size, they'll uh they'll let you like. Each side can move independently. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It'd be worth checking into. Yeah, I would have to... Uh, it would have to be like that, because the way her... I would come in, and the bed would be in some kind of weird dysmorphia and shit. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to get in here. I would, have to, I, have to wake her, I would have to wake her ass up, fucking readjust the bed, however long that shit take, uh-huh. then uh-huh. get into my damn self. I'm like, Nigga, I'm not doing this shit every night. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I would... Pick me up off this floor. I'm just trying to get up. <laughs> Sick of this shit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh shit, nigga, did you, did you have topics? I feel yeah. like I, I I feel like I talked about two of them and shit. Uh, you have so far. I know because. That's the only time you have pictures. Right <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got I got two left. Um, since we've been oh no, since you since we've been gone, motherfucker. Uh. Shout out to, uh, we've been gone for two weeks and a we lot have, of shit happened. Today. It has been a lot. But the big one is, uh, I know we late to the party and shit, but shout out to the Montgomery. Ship, yes. Ship bra. Yes. Lift every chair and swing, baby. Look. Goddamn right. Hey, Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to that young man. Jermichael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said my heart. Somebody said my heart melted when that that young man swam over there to get his reparations. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but no, nah, for real, like, Fuck, I like was, damn, what you still had that man. I was I had the perfect. Video. It was so <laughs> fucking funny. When I tell you, when I watched that, I was like, man, like the way they rocked for that man that they didn't even know. Nigga, I was like, they, they, nigga, they have been waiting for, the, yeah, <laughs> for the opportunity, nigga. They, I mean, they nigga, was, it's, it's time. Like, this is it. The bat signal had flew, motherfucker. <laughs> he, he threw that hat. <laughs> hey, he threw that hat. I random dude was just walking past. The first guy that jumped in, he was just walking past. And you see him stop and he looked down and he just take off running and then he run back in. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get down the damn yeah, rim. Trying to get down the rim because he take off out, out of sight. And he come back running back into the side. I'm like, oh yeah. Man. Somebody was like, man, the days of of the days of just thinking we ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> it's, it's good it's good and over. Good and over. You, you, let's, let's go ahead and put that that notion to rest yeah. right now. We will we will jump your ass. Mm-hmm. To be fair, they jumped us first. That's so fair. We we that is fair. We we jumped them back. To, to to be fair, now don't get mad that we we jumped a little harder. <laughs> we, we we are better at uh, we are we are better at guerrilla warfare. Okay, <laughs> that, that is fair. That is fair. I don't know what you got. I don't know where. All right, so um, uh, I'm gonna just do one because one is, is the segue, which is ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, so. 
this this scenario came to me um and i want to know if you would if you would stay or leave in a situation like this jesus fucking christ all right so (laughs) (laughs) so you uh say say you were in an accident a couple months ago you get into a car accident now the doctors say you're gonna be all right now we talked about something similar to this before but this takes it a little step further so um doctors say you're gonna be all right but it's gonna take some time and in that meantime between time you know your girl basically got to take care of you 100 percent, like 100 percent. like she got to help you to the toilet help you after the toilet all that right mm-hmm. and um this is going on for like a year and a half two years now you finally get a call from the lawyer that the bag is coming like the the company that that, that drove the truck that hit you you i'm talking mills is the bag is on its way mm-hmm. same day you overhear your wife saying that she can't take it no more. She can't keep taking care of you like this. Nigga. And, and she ready to leave. Nigga. You are. <laughs> you are describing acrimony. <laughs> is, is that the movie? Yes. <laughs> you, are, you are not. Well, kind of, yeah. Now that I think about it, that's kind of acrimony. But, but he wasn't disabled. <laughs> he was just. Trying to make that battery. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> What's the question? Would you would you tell her the bag coming and everything gonna be all right, or would you leave? Be like, let her leave. It depends. She on the phone with her home girl. She like she like I'm done. I already talked to a lawyer. I got I got the papers ready to be filed. You know I just can't t- sit here and take care of them no more. Now you're gonna be all right. It's just taking some time. It's probably gonna be like another year of this. But the bag's here. You're gonna tell her and 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 get her to stay or or let her leave? I'm gonna let her make the move. It's like You're gonna tell her about the money and let her like, make the move? That's like uh, remember remember acrimony where he was trying to tell her that's and she true. and she wouldn't let him get the words that's out. That's true. If 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 it's that kind of situation, then guess what? I tried. That's fair. I tried, and now, I, hey, you, you take you take this smooth million exactly. <laughs> take this. Take, take this million and these flowers, mm-hmm. and don't be trying to go crazy like the, like Taraji. <laughs> oh yeah, she went nuts. That's sweet. I had a homegirl. Speaking of, uh, what was the name of the movie? Acrimony. I had a homegirl saying that Taraji was not wrong in that situation. <laughs> That matter of fact, she's the whole reason I went and watched the movie because she was telling me about it one day. This is this is years ago. She was telling me about it, and she was like, she was like, I know you don't think I'm crazy, but Taraji was not wrong in that movie. I'm like, sure she wasn't. You know who said that? Crazy girl. Crazy woman. Think <laughs> who think that shit is cool? It's not. Shout out to you though. She she still the home. Nigga, she she, she she had she. You was there. You. You quit exactly. at the finish line. At the finish line. You was right there. You was right you, you, nigga, there. You, you fumbled the ball on the one. On the one. And then just walked off the, and left the game. <laughs> He's like, nah. Just like, I, am tired. I am not running this ball no more. <laughs> she was dead wrong. She, she was, was dead, dead wrong. wrong. Yes. Dead wrong. You, like, man, you, you had it. You definitely you, you, had it. You, you, and see, it. this is why... This is why I be telling females, stop listening to your fucking single, yes. dumbass friends. Hating and fa- friends. Friends and family. Because yep. your ass is going to fuck around and be just be as single just as they like them. Be just as single as they ass. And she was. What? She? she came back to her family. I shouldn't have listened to you, motherfucker. Uh, you're right. You, you you're shouldn't. You're right. You're right. Yeah, motherfucker, that's what right. the fuck you get. Now you're asking him looking dumb and lonely. Mm-hmm. While he over here uh, uh, finessing this other little hot thing uh-huh. and shit with, 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 the, with the money that should have been, 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 been yours. You worked for You was down. Don't get you me was wrong. Down. You was down. You, you, this, was your, this was your money. He knew it and you knew it. You fumbled, you, you fucked, you fumbled the ball on the one. It's a, that was your choice. 
Exactly. But and she, and she he's, he, he still he greedy. still cut you off. Uh, he cut you off a million. Right, exactly. He cut you off more than he probably should have. He didn't have to give you shit. Right. You could have just looked up and just said, this nigga is rich now. Mm-hmm. And he got bitches. Exactly. You could have said. You could have found out on the news like everybody else. <laughs> he, he, he came back, gave you a million, some flowers, and bought your what it was it, her mama house or whatever. Yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah. Come on, fam. Bought the family house back for her. You he know? did. He did way more than he than he actually had to do. Mm-hmm. Could hit you with the smooth fuck you. Exactly. But he, he, hey, he still still love for you. Here you yeah, go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, love you, you from a distance. You just can't. You just can't get what you, you what you what you thought you was gonna get because yeah, you yeah. you. You ain't got the same access to me no more. <laughs> but this new bitch, though. Oh, she gave it all. She was, she <laughs> and she ain't had to work for none of it. <laughs> she, came, she came in when she I was already up, nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I don't even know if this bitch is loyal, but guess what? That pussy is good. <laughs> <laughs> Said she came like Odell Beckham uh, on the... Uh, on the... Uh, the Rams. <laughs> came in... Ran like three plays, got hurt, went out, got a ring. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, that's too funny. Too, too funny. Hey, what you think about... Um... Let that be the life lesson. Mm-hmm. Stay stay down. Stay, stay the fuck down. down. Mm-hmm. You said what I think about what? What you think about... Um... Uh... She thought she deserved it with the, with the new hoe. <laughs> Help him get what he deserves. Exactly. Exactly. Um, what you think of uh Larsa and uh and Marcus getting married? Marcus Jordan, Larsa Pippen. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say use full names. Who? Sorry. <laughs> Scotty Pippen ex wife. I don't uh and a Michael Jordan son. That shit is uh still grooming. <laughs> and uh She says they didn't they didn't know each other back no, then. No, I wanna hear that shit. Shut up. You, you knew. Yo ass new. You nasty. <laughs> Care about them people. Go, go, go get that old pussy. It still, nah. look, it still look good. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it do. <clears throat> don't let it don't let her touch your uh don't let her touch your dad's money though. I said that. Don't let her touch your don't let That's her touch fair. your fair. dad's money. Okay. He sent a lot of he sent a lot of black men to jail for that. <laughs> don't let her touch your daddy's money. Little nasty. <laughs> That's what he said, little nasty. <laughs> I don't even know how far apart they are in age. A lot. <laughs> is that bad? Y- y- all y'all? Nigga, she, she. Yeah, she was around. She was the auntie. Yeah. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> she was t- According to them. <laughs> she was the auntie. She, she was like, she was like, it's not like I was planning his like fifth birthday party or nothing. <laughs> you are, uh, you are, you were, you was Aunt Liza. Okay. So <laughs> all right. So she's 49. How old is he? He older than me, so they they only like probably like maybe fifteen years. <laughs> what is he? A smooth thirty four? If that number? Oh dang! No, he younger than I am. Oh shit! How old is he? <laughs> he thirty two. Seventeen years. Wow. I could have swore he was older than me. No, nigga. I'm sure. I think Michael got a son. That's a uh, yeah. That's I think he do. But this one. Lil MJ was at the barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, is that you or me? That's you, nigga. Man, I swear, it's, I, <laughs> like, it just be turning the volume up on his own, man. Hey, but he was probably at the barbecue. Like, dang, Uncle Scotty got a got one. Uncle Scotty got one, <laughs> nigga. I'm I'm hoping that she wasn't like. You know how them weird ass uncles be like, yeah, you gonna grow up to be beautiful. Like, oh, like she hope she, yeah, was I hope like, she wasn't like that. She oh, saw you're gonna be a handsome little man. She's, yeah. she's, Ooh, you're, just, you're my boyfriend. <laughs> she. Who? <laughs> I hope she wasn't one of them. That boys. would definitely be grooming. I hope she wasn't one of them aunties that like saw him playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Saw his dick jump in the soup shorts and shit. Oh, you done growing up a lot, MJ. Look at little MJ. You done, you done grown up. Get your ass in here with the adults. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing with these kids? Get your ass in here. <laughs> Lies, if you don't get off that daggum porch and let the boys play. <laughs> Gotta see it. 
Y'all thought it was just the uncles. It's the aunties. The aunties out here. The aunties be ain'ting. Nasty. Mm-hmm. This has been another episode of Big Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all of you for spending your pre drinks with us. We truly appreciate it. It feels good to be back. It does. We back like we never left, right back into the swing of things. Uh, I am Frank with a pen. This is Marky D. We will see you guys next Friday, hopefully, with a brand new episode. I say hopefully because I don't know what the fuck Marky should be having to do with it. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, y'all. We <laughs> peace. Bump for the bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Did you think I gotta thank I for Fridays? It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I mean Monday's cool and Friday. And Tuesday we we'll make it through. Friday. Couple tacos. I'm talking about Wednesday is a hot day. Thank God it's Friday. And Thursdays. We're almost there. We all love the weekend, but uh, we can't make it without Friday. I just asked.